In this video, I'm going to go over how to use LinkedIn for sort of your posting strategy. So we're going to learn a little bit about how you make updates to LinkedIn and a special type of posting on LinkedIn called Pulse. Let's get started. Welcome back. Uh, we are looking at two sort of interrelated items here, how you post updates to LinkedIn and how you post posts to Pulse. So to make our life a little bit miserable, on LinkedIn, what, what Facebook calls a post, on LinkedIn is called an update, and what on LinkedIn is called a post doesn't really have a corresponding element on Facebook because a post on LinkedIn is essentially a post to Pulse, which is its blogging network. Don't worry too much about it. The idea is basically you're going to post some items and people are going to see them. So let's log into LinkedIn here. And of course, the materials are in the YouTube description. And let's just sort of see how it's structurally similar to Facebook. So I, Jason McDonald, am logged into LinkedIn. And as I'm scrolling through, I can see that people that I'm connected to, right? So I'm connected to Suzanne Alexander here, and she has posted this update. So what to her is an update to me shows in my news feed. Similarly, over here, it's telling me that Del Hellies has posted, um, sort of started a group discussion. Okay, so you are gonna post updates. So if I go here and I post an update, you know, working on the new videos for my 2017 social media marketing workbook, stay tuned, right, and I hit share, so I, Jason McDonald, have shared an update, then that's going to show in Thompson's newsfeed if and when he logs in. So you as a marketer are trying to post updates so that you stay top of mind with your friends and connections. That's updates. Now related to that is what are called posts. So on LinkedIn, they have a special uh, internal blogging platform called Pulse, and that's where I can publish directly sort of a long form article. And when I post to Pulse, uh, the same process is at work. It's going to show as an update to people who follow me as well. And that's what we're going to be diving into. So po updates and posts, a little different, and we want to understand the basic concept. So uh, the first um, element here is just to understand that item. So Here's me, here's Gloria. When I post an update and she logs in, she's going to see that in her newsfeed. And vice versa, if she posts an update or posts something to Pulse, right? I'm trying to draw my little box there. So she's going to post something, then I'm going to see that in my newsfeed. That's not dissimilar uh, from the way Facebook works. So as marketers, we need to sort of understand this process and how do we go through it? Okay, so let's talk about updates, the simpler of the two. There's two, diving down here, now there's two elements. There's either my own content where I posted something to my own blog, I created it, it's sort of organic, I created it from zero, or I found something interesting that I want to share uh, with my connections. In both situations, you're trying to position yourself as a helpful expert. So. I share information on search engine optimization, on AdWords, and social media marketing, okay? So let's talk about my own content. So for instance, let me just pop over to our blog here, and I, I've been working really diligently on my videos. And so I'm going to share to LinkedIn my video that I produced a few days ago on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. Okay, so here's your steps. So step one is think of something to write that's interesting and put it on your own blog. So uh, I know people are interested in how to optimize their LinkedIn profile. I went to the hard work of writing a script, putting a video together, it's part of my book, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now I have it. So then I'm gonna copy the URL and then a really easy way to do it is just to go to tinyurl.com or you can use bit.ly, paste that in there, and I'm gonna shorten that URL. So now I've taken my long, kind of ugly URL, and I've shortened that to a tiny URL. And you can see if you click through there, it takes you to my blog post. So now I can go back over to LinkedIn, 
and this is um, my blog post, so I can go back over to LinkedIn here and I can click home and then I can click share and update and I can put interested in optimizing your LinkedIn profile question mark check out my new post and YouTube video on LinkedIn profile optimization and then I can just copy in that URL so I'm writing a little summary blah 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 and then that is going to have a link to it and I'm going to hit share so now I have shared some of my own content and then all the people that I'm connected to, so if I look at my network, I've got about 1,500 connections, 1,700 connections. So now all 1,700 of these people, if and when they log into LinkedIn, they would see it on their newsfeed and I would stay top of mind and they would be aware of me. I'm so smart. I'm a helpful expert, blah, blah, blah. All right? That's I'm sharing my own content. Now, it's interesting to share other people's content as well. So let's go over to Feedly, which is one of my favorite tools, and I cover that when I talk about content marketing. So now I'm on Feedly, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to find some content on, say, uh, uh, let's find some content on SEO. So I'm going to go into my SEO folder, and I'll just quickly find something that's kind of sort of halfway interesting. Um, and I'll like this one, Yahoo's disabling email for forwarding. Okay, so I'm going to go from Feedly to some content that I found quickly. And, you know, assuming I had some time, I would read this and it's interesting. And I'm going to share it with my audience. So now I'm sharing Yahoo's content or this content about Yahoo News. So I'm going to same thing. I'm going to right click and copy, go into LinkedIn, and I'm going to write a little summary, you know, email security, you know, remains a critical problem watch out and then I'm going to share that. Now I could have um, taken that URL and I probably should have. Let me go over to tiny URL and short. It just looks better if you shorten it into a smaller URL. So I'm going to shorten that URL from tiny URL and I'll go back over to LinkedIn. I'm going to take out that ugly horrible long URL. I'm going to paste that there. Okay so I'm going to, maybe this isn't actually about you. <laughs> Security. Let me actually read the article really quickly here. So basically, so Yahoo is sort of being naughty. It's actually not about what I thought it was. So that's fine. I'll just change my update. So I'm going to put, so I'm saying Yahoo is being naughty and trying to disable email forwarding. Watch out. Okay, so I found something interesting sort of kind of in my genre. I've shortened the URL and I'm going to hit share. So this is where I'm sharing someone else's content, but still I'm positioning myself as a helpful expert uh, to other people. Okay, so back over here. So wrapping up this portion here, I'm going to share an update. I can either share something from someone else or I can share my own blog, my own YouTube, etc. So the either one, I'm either producing it or I'm sharing it. I'm going to use a shortener like Bitly or Tiny URL. I'm going to log into LinkedIn. I'm going to share it. The purpose of this is what? To stay top of mind in front of my connections. So they think I'm fantastic and I'm smart and I'm a useful, happy, wonderful expert uh, with whom they want to do business. That's scenario one, as it were. Scenario two is I'm going to post something in much more detail. This is much more robust and I'm going to essentially blog internally to LinkedIn and the beauty here is that LinkedIn, because it's its own internal process, it will share it not only with people with whom I'm already connected, but these posts can be seen by total strangers and they can sort of follow me as an expert or a guru. So Pulse is really useful because LinkedIn wants it to succeed and so they kind of juice it and they kind of put your message in front of new people. That's why Pulse is really exciting. So the, the idea here is you need to identify an interesting topic and you have to write something. The Pulse has to be your own unique content. Now I often write something on my blog and then also copy paste it onto Pulse. It just depends either way. All right, so let's go over uh, and I'm going to just grab something from um, my personal blog here. 
So let me go to my personal blog here. And then I, I often kind of kill two birds with one stone. So I'm going to write something on my own personal blog and then I'm going to share it to Pulse as well. So I wrote an article about why I'm really frustrated with Facebook ads because this tech support is just abysmal. So I'll just really quickly, I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go to LinkedIn and I'm going to go profile your updates, right? And then, oh my bad, I'm going to go home, get a little bit lost myself, share an update, and then write an article. So home, write an article. So again, they don't, they're not consistent in their nomenclature. They call it a post, they call it an article. It's the same difference. Okay, so I'm just going to paste in my content here that I am taking from my own blog. And then I'm going to actually copy my headline over here. And I'm just going to put in my headline, why I hate Facebook advertising. And you can kind of clean it up. But it, if you copy it from your blog, it does a pretty good job of just bringing that content over. Okay, so now I'm going to look for an image. And what I like to do for an image is just go to Google. Easy way to find an image is I'm just going to put in Facebook. And I'm going to do an image search. And then I'm going to go search tools labeled for reuse. So these are my royalty uh, free. And I'm just going to steal an image that's royalty free anyway. I'm going to right click, save image. I'm going to put it in my little snag and I'll call it Facebook logo two. Okay, so then I'm going back in Pulse. I'm going to hit on my plus. I'm going to go find that image I just got. Just bear with me to get it over here. And I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to move it. You can sometimes move it. I'm not going to worry about it right now for that. And then I'm just going to, so, so then I'm ready. Then at the very bottom, uh, buh, 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 or when you hit publish, it's going to ask you for tags. So I'm going to tags and I'm going to put my frustration with Facebook. And then I'm going to put hashtag Facebook, hashtag advertising. And I'm going to post that and publish that. So now that's been posted to Pulse. So if I go profile, uh, edit profile, and then I scroll over to, drum roll please, to my posts, then you can see it's here. And then within that post, now I'm inside of here, I can see the post uh, uh, here showing up here as well. Okay, so now I've written a post to Pulse. Now, in terms of stats, if I go back and I've got the information here, let's say you want to see, okay, so I've posted something to Pulse, my own blog content. So again, it's got to be your own content that you're going to share to Pulse. You go to LinkedIn, you click on share and update, write an article, and then you're going to copy and you're going to be sure to follow their instructions to tag it with some tags about what it is, sort of indexing information. Then if you want to see the stats, you can go profile, profile your updates. Just going to show me all my updates and then I can go published. And then let's go back in time and find something that's a little bit more interesting. So this article I wrote in April has 18 likes and two comments and one share. So I can then see how popular something is that I'm published, so how many people are reaching it. And that is going to do what? That's going to drive up my share so, or my, my follower count. Okay, so wrapping this up. So the post process is similar uh, to the, the update process. The difference here is it's my own content. I'm going to put it on LinkedIn's Pulse. God knows who named these things, right? LinkedIn Pulse. And that is going to be internal blogging platform to LinkedIn. And then again, let's say Gloria, who's connected to me, she would then see in her newsfeed, oh, look, Jason has published something on Pulse. And even better, some new person, John Doe, who I don't know at all, he might see it as well because it's tagged Facebook advertising. He's interested in Facebook advertising. And then he finds out about me. So in summary... You're going to be posting your own content and other people's content. 
Sometimes your own content lives on your own blog. Sometimes it lives on your own blog and it lives on LinkedIn Pulse. Sometimes you're just sharing other people's content that you're finding through Feedly, BuzzSumo, or whatever. And you're doing this so that at the end of the day, when someone logs into LinkedIn, they're seeing that you're active and you're producing content and you're sharing content and you're positioning yourself as a helpful expert uh, to the community. So all the materials are in the uh, YouTube description. If you click on the YouTube description, you'll get over to them. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I know the nomenclature is a bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, what you're trying to do is stay top of mind with your LinkedIn connections.